In 1995, I was approached by Jeremy Mortimer, uh, one of the producers at uh, BBC Radio 4, and uh, he uh, invited me to write a play marking the exit of, uh, 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 of uh, Britain from India in 1947. 1997 would be the 50th year. And the two playwrights uh, who were asked to write for this occasion uh, were Girish Kannad and myself. And Girish is, uh, was, uh, you, you know, a genius. And uh, he had a, a mastery over history. And I knew that he's going to come up with something really significant. And indeed he did. He wrote Dreams of Tipu Sultan, a fascinating radio play. And I uh, chose to write something a little bit more intrapersonal, although still keeping the theme of the insider and the outsider. What does it mean being outside and what does it mean being inside? And what happens when you're no longer accepted uh, on the inside uh, of society the way the Gaudas and the Patel, the uh, seniors are? And what if you never really belonged uh, on the inside, uh, but yet you find a pathway to stay out and yet uh, uh, identify yourself as in? And so that was really the uh, uh, you, you know the inspiring theme for Do the Needful, and um, the title Do the Needful it, it's a, it's a very Indian way of saying that you know do whatever is necessary, uh, which could mean conform, uh, please conform. So uh, that's, that's the, uh, you know, the beginnings of uh, Do the Needful. Let me just uh, quote uh, a sort of uh, 13th century uh, uh, philosopher, poet, uh, Devara Dasimaya, who belonged to Karnataka, the same region that the play is set in. And one of his quotes, uh, he was a Shiva Bhatt, uh, so he said, when you see a beard coming, you say, man. If you see breasts approaching, you say, woman. Tell me, O Shiva, what then is the gender of my soul? So I, I think uh, your soul has a gender, you're born with a gender, and society gives you a construction of gender and uh, it's not necessary that all three are aligned maybe they're not uh, so who who which gender do you serve i think it's a hugely important question and i think all of us need to uh, uh, need to have a dialogue on gender because we cannot just blindly accept the gender of our birth we cannot blindly accept the gender roles uh, given to us by society. I think it's a great question to ask, uh, what is the gender of my soul? Uh, it's, it's as profound as asking who am I? Because gender is such an integral part of our identity. And needless to say, just as we respect other human beings and other souls uh, who have passed on, um, I think the same respect needs to be uh, extended to uh, the gender identity of uh, uh, people around us. So I think it's it's a very, very important uh, 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 subject and uh, uh, more dialogue has to take place on this. Mm -hmm.